Hello, um, I'm going to um, attempt to show you how to create a, a distressed design, um, which is a way of um, making your image look as though it's been um, kind of run through the mill a little bit and kind of scratched and scraped to give it a, a real kind of retro feel. So basically you have um, kind of two main ele elements. Um, the first one is my image here of um, Dr. Sheldon Cooper and the second element is um, my sort of distressed kind of uh, pattern which um, <coughs> excuse me, I've taken from an image which I've live traced and um, kind of messed around with a little bit and uh, the reason why I coloured it um, this sort of pink colour is because when I overlay it on the sort of front image um, I want to kind of be able to see what the distressing is going to look like before I actually make it happen so um, the important thing to know is that once you've got your image um, you want to make sure that it's um, a compound path which means that it's all kind of joined together and the, there are no gaps or anything like that so what you do is you highlight your image and you go to object and you go down to um, clip, uh, compound path here now this is already a compound path because if it wasn't um, this release bit here um, would be greyed out so I don't need to make it a compound path it already is but if you see that this is greyed out it means that your path isn't, comp isn't a compound path and the effect won't work so you need to make sure you click on make um, the next thing to do is exactly the same process with your with the second part of your image which is your sort of distressed pattern um, again select it go to object um, go to compound path and again I've already made this a compound path because that would be greyed out if it wasn't um, again make it a compound path if it isn't already and then you have two um, compound paths. I'm going to stop saying compound path now. That's it. Right, so um, what you want to do is take your pattern and make sure it's up front. To do that, you just click on it um, or right click or control click or whatever and then go to arrange and bring it to the front. So that's now going to sit on top of the image of Sheldon, um, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. So I'm going to drag this over here. Now this always takes a little bit of fiddling, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do it quickly for the sake of a tutorial. But you're kind of probably going to want to kind of fiddle around a little bit because if you have too much of a kind of a, of a distressing pattern, you end up taking away from the image more than you kind of want to, which makes the image almost kind of um, you know you kind of can't really see what it is, especially if you've got kind of like any complexity in it, or if you're kind of doing it over a font, which can look really good, but if you chop out too much of the font. Um, then obviously you know you can't read what it says anymore, um, which isn't always great. So what I'm going to do is just pull this over Sheldon, and I can kind of see from the outline view already um, what it's going to look like. Um, it's going to take away quite a lot, but you know we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll make it a bit bigger here. I don't mind if I chop out a bit of the um, lettering underneath. That's kind of okay. I'm going to bring this over so it's covering the majority of the image like this. Now that is going to take out some fair big wax of Sheldon's head. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, again, I would probably fiddle with it a lot longer um, to kind of get it just right. Um, but for now, we'll see how the just to show you how the sort of function works. So this is covering Sheldon. They're both compound paths. What I'm going to do is take this one now and I'm going to drop it behind Sheldon. So I'm going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to go to um, Centre Back. So there you go, now that's sitting behind him. Um, you can see obviously through the gaps because there's nothing that exists around his forehead area or anything like that, or his neck, um, which is kind of intentional, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, now I'm going to select both. Let's drag over both like this. They're both compound images, so it will select all of it. And then what we're going to do, and this is the clever bit, is that in Illustrator, um, you've got this um, kind of function called the Pathfinder. Um, now, the Pathfinder's got several different things it can do. You can get to the Pathfinder by just going up to Window up here and um, making sure you can see it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove um, the pattern, and we're actually going to take out um, the pattern itself from, from the front image, which is Sheldon. And all we need to do is just click on this really handy button here, which says minus back. And that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to take away the back, and while it's happening, it's going to take away from Sheldon himself. So here we go. Click on that, and that's it. 
So now we've got a very kind of ripped up retro looking Sheldon, um, which is kind of cool. I would adjust it a little bit more probably, um, but uh, you know, for the purposes of the tutorial, it's kind of showing exactly what what it needs to do. So there's Sheldon, um, and you can see that it's literally removed. Wherever there's a gap, it's removed it totally. It's not coloured it white or anything. It's totally removed it, which means that you can um, select it and you can change the entire colour if you want to. Um, and again, you've got all these gaps. Now the reason for that, and the reason why that's so handy, and why the minus back button is so good, is because if you want to put that on a t-shirt, then obviously you have the material showing through. And for a kind of retro style t-shirt, that's exactly what you want. You want to make it look as though um, it's kind of been worn away, and that the sort of colour of the t-shirt and the fabric shows through properly. So when it goes to print, um, it, you know, it looks like a, a proper kind of old, um, kind of, you know, messed up t-shirt. So I'm going to leave this one black because I know I'm going to print it on a white and probably as kind of a sport grey kind of uh, fleck t-shirt. So I'm going to pop that on there like that. And that's it. It is done. Um, any questions about this or if I've kind of rushed through a step or anything, then do comment below the video um, or um, actually, you know, come over to makemortea.com um, and, uh, and you can comment there. And um, one of our designers or myself will um, try and help you out. Okay, take care, bye.